Well, the Red Lake Indian Reservation will be providing Christmas gifts to a couple thousand kids this year, thanks to their annual toy drive. Lakeland News reporter Sheryl Moore has the details. A lot of kids don't get toys. You know, we live in a remote area, and, and our, some of the families are, are, don't get that kind of money to buy stuff for their children, so we help out. Red Lake Nation is making sure kids on the reservation and kids in the Duluth area have a Merry Christmas with their annual toy drive. The toy drive was started back in 2011 after Toys for Tots stopped serving the area. This year, 2,441 kids will be getting toys. The age group on this um, is serving 0 to 17 year olds. Red Lake officials start collecting for the toy drive in October. They send out more than 600 letters to local businesses and organizations. It takes a lot of organization and a lot of volunteers. They get a list from the families from each district and they turn in how many kids per f in their family household. So they gather the information and, and various people that are here in different programs assist to go buy toys. And it's a lot of hours we're away from our families and stuff, but it's worth it to see all the kids get all the toys. So. Everyone who participates really gets into the toy drive. There's even a traveling trophy that goes to the organization who raised the most for the year. This year, they raised exactly $63,300. Volunteers say it's about making others happy. It's fun to see everybody in the community and especially the smiles on their faces. The distribution will go through Friday. Any leftover toys will be delivered to families who couldn't make it to the distribution sites. It's just from here, coming from the heart to help our youth get so they can smile. Reporting of Bemidji, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. Donations are accepted for the toy drive throughout the entire year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.